I love to see the familiar faces during the coaching stream, by the way. Uh, and I mean, coming back for more, we actually did some coaching for them yesterday. He's addicted, boys. He's addicted to the coaching. <laughs> yeah, so he's 1700 here, and he just got some coaching yesterday. So we're going to speed up the, the start of it here. So he said he's playing one, he played one game since the coaching session of yesterday. And just to recap, if you didn't see that one, basically, I mean, he has a really good late game, but his early game tends to be pretty sloppy. He always does weird things. So right now, we're going to take a look at his early game and see how he's made improvements there. We also mentioned he was not picking up relics yesterday, or in the wrecks we, we watched yesterday. He was missing relics and outposts on the side in mid, in mid late game. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm look, I want to see him do relics, get relics, you know, get outposts on the side in late game. And then I want to see a clean and crisp early game. That's, that's kind of the things I'm looking for here. His Dark Age is pretty good, so there's no reason to watch the Dark Age too, uh, too intent intensely. Yeah, it should be fine to just breeze through that. He's always getting up with like zero idle time or like less than 10 seconds idle time, so it's pretty perfect here. I mean, not perfect, but you know what I mean. It's pretty solid. He's also going to be pushing in a couple deers here. Nothing wrong with that. Now we're gonna go 20 pop with Lithuanians. You could go slightly faster with Lithuanians if you want to, but I like that you're going 20 pop. Again, we don't care to win the game in Feudal Age. We stick to the game plan here. We wanna just get to the mid game, late game, and pull ahead like that. Okay, we have two houses, then a barrack. Now we're seeing a stable on the left from Amin. Okay, now we can start slowing down because we're up to Feudal Age. Okay, cool. The stable's coming down, and he's already making a couple spears. I don't like that you're making two spears without scouting your opponent. I know your opponent is Huns. Your opponent is Huns, so we expect to see scouts, but you didn't see that he's on stable. So two spears right away feels a bit weird, but that's okay. You were right in this case, he is on stable. Usually I like to just make one spear and then check, because if he's on archers and you make two spears, it sucks. It's really bad. But that's, again, something very small. You're not even looking to see what he's going to go for, so I don't like that. You really need to try to figure out what he's going to go for here. Don't just assume he's doing scouts, because then better players will surprise you. Okay, now we're starting to add a few more spears. Again, we were probably, you know, we're pretty sure he's on scouts now, because we scouted the gold. And indeed it is scouts. We see more of them coming in. That's perfect. And now we're going to get Town Watch. The map is open, so I actually like Town Watch here. And that's good. I mean, you know, opponents are putting a lot of pressure on us, but it's not like we're crumbling. Even if we lose one vill, it's totally fine. Although I think you don't lose it. Oh, okay, no problem. We lost one vill, we killed one scout. It's actually a fine trade. And now we're just slowly starting to wall our map. Our map is really awful, but you're actually walling in the best way possible, I think. Maybe walling down here is slightly better, but walling to the side is fine because you secure the gold. So you're... You're doing the right thing. You're slowly walling up, playing a little defensively. That's exactly what we want. Just go ahead and finish that one off. You're out of TC? Yeah, 30 seconds. So that's, yeah, that's something that can always be improved. But that's okay. I mean, your opponent was playing very aggressive. So that's definitely fine. I don't like your spear position. I think you always keep a spear when you're walling, by the way. You should definitely keep a spear there. It's very risky what you're doing here. One scout can come and kill your vill. This is good. One, one, one more spear here would be, would be perfect, I think. Yeah, look, your opponent didn't do that and you killed his vill. That's perfect. If your opponent had a spear here, I mean, you can kill the vill, but you lose one scout. Alright, so right now, fill count is relatively even. We're down one because we got town watch and idle time a little bit. But aside from that, we both killed one. And we're just trying to wall up our map, which is perfect. And that's exactly what we want. We want to just chill till mid-late game. That's the kind of player that you are, pretty much. Your, your strengths are in the mid-late game.
Make sure everything's good. You got a blacksmith coming down. Hmm. Wheelbarrow's coming in. Build is pretty good. I can give you a nice little high little tip. This is super specific, but because you're pretty strong, I, I will tell you this. Basically, you want to get wheelbarrow when you have 5 on gold in scout, in scout into night build. So here you have 6 on gold. If you one of them made a farm and you went to gold a little bit later, basically you would have enough food to click up after wheelbarrow and you'd have, you'd have exactly 200 gold if you don't make too many scouts and spears. So now with 6 on gold, you'll start to float some gold. So it's 5 veils on gold and then wheelbarrow. And you make like 1-2 more farms and that's perfect. Just a small thing for your build there, but nothing too crazy, just to help you out a little bit. So like now, we're floating 200 gold, but we wanted 200 food. So if you just like fix that a little bit, you'd have a really clean build. And like if you see, if you notice, like if you just work on your build a bit, you'd be up faster than your opponent by like 30 seconds to one minute, you know? Like feudal age build really matters, and you walled a lot here. But this these walls are pretty like pretty good. It, it obviously looks like it's a lot, but I'd rather have these walls than not have them. If that makes sense. Like I'd rather invest the resources, get the walls down, than have an extra hundred wood and be fully open. Sending back some spears now. We're going forging. Probably want a second stable if you if the plan is knights. Your point is going to go Cav Archers, and we have no way to know that. We can only guess that he's going Cav Archers. What I like to do here is just drop 2TC fast, and then if he's doing Cav Archers, then I react with a range, and then I go Skirms. Or maybe some defensive uh, some defensive uh, Scorpions could be nice. Okay, this is perfect. So we're going to go up to Castle Age. Right away, we make 2TCs, and you're going to make a Monastery for Relics. That's not bad. I don't... I just want to see how you react to the Cav Archers now. Your opponent isn't going all in Cav Archers though. He's going to go Cav Archers plus Boom. Which is definitely, you know, very, very strong strategy. Basically what you did with Slams, Skirm, De Defense, and Boom and Win. Yeah, exactly. And in that game it was really... It was really a lot easier because those Burgundians and their Boom is completely OP Klavskas. Uh, but yeah, otherwise... Uh, you know, it's just good to defend against Cav Archers, generally speaking. Although I like what this guy's doing, he's going like a few characters and economy, so he's not going to be completely reliant on damage, which is definitely good. So now we're going to go for a second stable. Okay, I mean it's not bad necessarily to play knights versus cav archers. It's definitely okay, but I think good cav archer players will destroy you if you're on pure knights. So that's the only thing I'll say there. But knights versus cav archers isn't terrible. So at this point, we want to try to pick up relics. You have good scouting, actually. You see a lot of the map, so relics will be easy to pick up. Also, we don't have a lot of idle TC, which is nice. So a minute 25, obviously we could do better, but it's not too bad. Nice, defensive siege is very good. I like that a lot. Some scorpions will help a lot here. And that because you're house walled in a lot of these areas, your opponent's actually taking a long time to break in. What you should probably look to do now, especially if you get plus two armor at some point, is look to run in and out to try to buy yourself some time. With plus one armor, it's a little hard. It's a little harder to do that, but it's still worth to you know push him away. On defense, buying time is really important. However, we are behind in Vils, so that's something that's a bit worrisome. However, I I think you're going to probably add a 4th DC and continue booming here, which is going to be nice. And you are picking up the relics, which is great, especially as Lithuanians. Yeah, your opponent's playing really well too. Like, this is just actually just a very good game. You're picking up the relics, and he's got a lot more army than you at the moment. Nice, we're going for scorpions, that's perfect. Ok, 
Okay, he defended that one nicely. Oh, he played well there. He, yeah, he played really well there. He's gonna kill both those monks. Now we're waiting for plus two. We should not be fighting before plus two usually. We wanna really wait for that. We have two relics now. Our economy is flowing very smoothly now. We also got Heavy Plow and Bosa. Okay, we're heavy on stones. We want to get a castle. Um, That's not a bad idea, generally speaking. how this game plays out. Now we're gonna try to fight for the relic here. And you, okay, you want to get a, a cast on this on this hill right here. Okay, that's a good idea. But you have to continue making army if you want to get a middle, middle hill castle. You want to continue making army. So never stop making knights in this in this situation. Okay, you're gonna start recurring now as well. Yeah, so we have to wait on this until we can win the fight. Cool. And this is a good idea in general. So I, I like what you're doing here. But it is a bit risky. We probably needed like a third stable or, or maybe an, a couple extra siege, siege units to make sure we get this up. The opponent will let us have it though, which is nice. But yeah, this is a great castle. I love it. It's going to secure your gold, secure both wood lines, and secure the middle hill. And you get the relic. So that was a great decision from you. Really like that one. And your boom is great. Look at that. Didn't that tell you? Amin is insane in, in mid late game. He had a minute 30 LTC time, his opponent was at 30 seconds. Now he's at 2 minutes 30, opponent is at 5 minutes. So you're gaining advantage over your opponents in mid late game. That being said, your opponent is close to Imperial Age. However, we don't really care about faster imp in this situation. You have a castle on the middle hill, you also have the relics. So even if the game tends to take a little bit longer, we're still okay. We're still in a good position. Even if we go up to imp like 2 minutes later, we don't have a power spike, no problem. We just chill with the relics and with the map control here. Okay, now we're gonna go up to imp. We actually somehow click faster than our opponents, and now we're gonna switch to fletching. Um, I'm gonna go range switch. It's not a bad idea. You see your opponents on a heavy coward, so you're gonna go ranges. That's that's actually fine. I actually don't mind that. Oh, it's coaching today as well. Sick. Yeah, what's up, Glory? Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Those are the coaching days. Okay, we're gonna break in on the right side. I would say it's pretty risky to waste our knights now before imp. I don't like this at all. Now we should probably just conserve them to imp, but it's okay. Even if we lose them for a little bit of trades, it's still fine. Yeah, but you're obviously just losing them for, for very little here though, so that's not the best. But like I said, it's it's not the end of the world. You're probably still gonna be fine. What's gonna win you the game is this build advantage as well. Okay, so we get Brace your handcart. So now look at your situation, I mean. Same as yesterday, we have a really good situation. You're getting a build lead over your opponents. But this time, we have the three relics. In some games, you can even get up to all five. But in this case, we have three relics. That's very solid. Now we're going to go for some Lightus. Perfect. And now we're also going Skirm. So we're going to go Skirm, Lightus. I actually really like that composition. It's pretty perfect. But now you have to decide. Do you want Lightus or do you want... Uh, Cav, because you don't want to do both. Is it convenient to change the scrims in this situation? Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Remember, we want one gold unit, one food unit, one trash unit, and one siege unit. That's the comp. So like... Wait, what? Did I go back? I don't know what happened there. Uh, so yeah, scrims, scrims, Cav, or scrims, Lightus, plus Trebs is a great composition, for example. Perfect, so castle going off on top here. What mouse I use, looking to buy a new one? Logitech G Pro Wireless. I highly recommend it. It's very light, very nice to use. Feels great. I'm gonna get tower shields, all, all the upgrades. I like that you get all the upgrades. I mean, that's really good. 
Yeah, and we have the relics now, so we're not really in a rush. What you're doing right now is perfect. Just getting up all your... You know, getting up your composition. Going out to take the extra resources. The only thing missing is outpost on the side. Like, look, right now, if, if you had an outpost here and outpost here, you see the entire map. Same thing here, outpost here, outpost here, outpost here. You see the entire map. And look, there's stone, there's gold. We don't know he's taking the stone. If he had an outpost, you would know. Same thing here. He's going to the gold. If he had an outpost here, you would know. And then you just run your knights and kill him. Hello, Marco. What's up? You watched the bot from yesterday. Amazing support and jokes in the chat. Thank you and thanks, Sarah. Hey, no problem, man. Never noticed my mouse moves weird. Yeah, I think your sensitivity is too high. It may be worth uh, looking to lower that a little. But yeah, hopefully the coaching was helpful, man. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And that muted moment was pretty funny. When I was like getting frustrated, I was like, yo, attack. And I was just muted. Damn, my bad. Maybe a dumb question, but a comp is always one gold, one trash, and one siege. Uh, that's my rule of thumb. That's what I recommend to everyone. Because I think that if you stick to that rule, you always get good compositions. Now we're getting murder holes. Probably not that important. <laughs> but it's, I guess it's fine. But yeah, not, not the best tech to get right now. I think better is to spend the resources elsewhere. Okay, so we're going to go Cav, so just two Lightus. We're going to stick with Paladin, that's fair enough. Lightus are really good though, you should probably use Lightus actually. Lightus are better than Paladin, I think, overall. They're cheaper. And if you have two castles, they're definitely great. Ordered it and arrives today, 2pm to 6pm. Wow, that was fast. Uh, let me know if you like it, man. It's wireless, so you ha it takes a little bit of time to set up, but just watch a tutorial online on how to set it up, and I'm sure you're going to like it. Less Pierce Armor against DA? I mean, Paladin is fine, but I, Lightus is really, really strong, actually. Yeah. Even against DA, it's really good. Because remember, you have the Skirms to kill CA anyways, right? And like, Lightus has the same Pierce Armor as Cavalier, right? So yeah, Lightus is really good. Okay, we probably want to get up to a little bit more bills. Are we still making bills? Uh, we can continue making bills to 200 pop, but otherwise your competition is like pretty good. Your opponent's playing really well too. Like right now, you're winning this game, but it's not like your opponent played poorly. You actually just played better. Like both players played well, you just played better. He has two relics, you have three. So both people had a nice boom, had a good strategy, but you just played it slightly better. Yeah, perfect. The traps are coming in. Once you start running out of gold, it's really good to switch into Hussar right away. You're sharing this gold. Fair enough. Yeah, and you want to use your skirm. So in late game, it's really hard to use skirms, but basically you want to control your skirms always and just hit CA. And I think you're doing that, which is amazing. That's really good. Using the skirms to hit CA is fantastic. Nice, you actually got your build count to 140. That's amazing. I like that. That's really good. Cast on the left. Beautiful. Man, your late game is so good, honestly. Like, you do all the right things in late game. The only criticism I have is that some of the fights you took weren't the best, but that's okay. Like, that's fine. Otherwise, it's all good. And you're going to get better at taking fights as you play more, so that's fine. So at this point, your gold is starting to run out. I think it's a good idea to start switching to Hussar. Or you can start selling your wood if you want to stick on Cavalier. Because Lithuanian Cavalier are obviously very strong. 
You get the extra attack from relics. Yeah, like the, the reason why I prefer Lightus is like, look at this. The Cavalier stats are 140 HP, and you have 17 attack. The Elite Lightus would be 21 attack, so four extra attack and 10 extra HP. So Elite Lightus is strictly better than Cavalier. Paladin is better than Lightus against. Um, against Cavalier, because it has more Pierce armor, but Lightus is really strong. Because you don't have to wait for that Paladin attack. Like, Elite Lightus kicks in really fast, so... Just like a small tip there, like, Lightus is pretty OP right now. It's really good to use it. Opponent's playing well, but at this point, we can just fast forward a little bit more, because I think you're doing pretty well to win the game. Yeah, it's perfect. Your opponent's just making so many mistakes. And look at your opponent. He didn't expand. He's like barely expanded. He, if you made, if you made outposts on the side, he would not have this, right? So he didn't expand anything. For you, you expanded a lot. You have a castle here. You're starting to break out of your base as well. So just with a few more outposts, and your expansion would be really, really nice. Now Paladin's coming in, and once Paladin comes in, we will win the game for sure. I recommend you sell your wood right now, though. Whenever you go something like Paladin, sell your wood and try to like really end the game fast. Like right now, you're really strong. Right now, one, two traps and look to end the game in the next few minutes. Because as soon as you get Paladin, your opponent will now really struggle against you. Oh, you did that. That's amazing. Yeah, sell the wood. You can even sell stone and try to win the game now. Oh, you actually did exactly what I said. Three traps and Paladin coming. That's perfect. Nice, nice. Very good. Okay, we wasted the traps, but that's, that's fine, I guess. What? He rage quits? That's a weird time for him to resign, actually. <laughs> oh, you're raiding him. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Yeah, you're raiding him a lot. That's perfect. I mean, honestly, well played, bro. It, it's the same, it's the same quote-unquote mistakes from last time, to be honest. Your early game still needs a little bit of work. You can still get up to castage a little bit faster. Um, you're, you know, you can still play a little bit better in early game. And then going to late game, the only thing that's missing is outposts on the sides and expanding your base a little bit more. And that's pretty much it. Your competition's good. You're always getting your upgrades. I like how you play late game. You did a good job getting relics as well. So very solid stuff, man. Really, really happy with this. Yeah, pretty much the same as yesterday. And just keep it up. You're going to climb if you just continue to play like this. I gave you a couple tips with the wheelbarrow and the build in Feudal Age. But aside from that, you know, you already know what you need to work on. All right. Thank you, Amin. Hopefully this helped a little bit. And thank you so much for signing up for the coaching once again. This guy's addicted. He did three wrecks yesterday and now another one today. Love it though. Thank you, bro.